Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna try out dotting art. I found like a little kit in the clear out section in the crate spot here in Belgium. So I really wanted to try it out but first I went to Pinterest to find some IDs so I went and scrolled through like the IDs but I didn't find like anything that would be like something I would like to do like scary things. I did find this one jellyfish that I really thought was cool so uh, yeah I pinned it but I went and searched further because I really wanted to do something like scary or like spooky but I really couldn't find anything. I could find like all the really nice paintings and such but not like like you know dotting. So in the end after searching for way way too long I decided to do some really simple shapes but even for those simple shapes I really needed an example so I, I guess googled it on Pinterest. <laughs> um, to find some silhouettes and I really found this really cute ghost and really simple so I thought it was really a good idea and then I found those hand silhouettes and also some spooky pumpkin faces you're gonna see later in the video and after I had my ideas I immediately went to the dotting so let's go to the video of course like always I also have some stories to tell from reddit this time the team is black eyed children so let's go to the first story. It's called Northeast Pa Possible Black Eyed Children or Demon Children Sighting. Posted on the Black Eyed Children thread first, but I would like also to share it here because there are more members who might be able to help. I hope to have some insight, comments, advice or help on what happened about two weeks ago. I'm a little familiar with the Black Eyed Children phenomenon. But I need some help to identify what exactly happened to two family members who have not been right since the deciding. In 2013, I moved with my family to a foreclosed six-bedroom home on 14 acres straight up in the middle of nowhere in Pocontos. My father and I noticed something very weird going on the second we moved in, but my mother and sister seemed to not notice any of these things. Everyone besides me and my dad and my entire family are like, oh, it was the winter type of people, if you get what I mean. There is some evidence that the entire area of where this house is located is haunted, as in ghosts and Native American burial grounds and other things. Now, historically speaking with actual evidence, people sat here around the old mill area a long time ago and were brutally killed by many Aquarius Indians. This area is very spread out over the miles of heavy wooden mountains. Two weeks ago, my uncle on my mother's side and his girlfriend came to visit my parents' home. They do this quite often as my parents always have people over for beer, games, bonfires, etc. I just want to start off by saying that my uncle is a non-believer, a hardly a rider who to this day I have never seen scared of anything or anyone before deciding. My uncle and his girlfriend are playing football with my parents when they realize it's 12.30 am, so they decide to head home. They take all back roads and once they turn onto Running Valley Road, like 6 minutes from our house, my uncle's girlfriend sees two figures. They were pretty far away at this point, but two small figures waiting to cross the road, not to mention that it was nothing out of there. No houses besides one abandoned one that was still two miles up the road. Only thing in the vicinity is a cave. These figures were attempting to cross the road into the woods, which was very odd because of the time and the location. They are now approaching these figures, headlights start to shine directly on them. Both my uncle and girlfriend see two young girls approximately aged 9 to 11 year old. One was much bigger than the other, wearing what my uncle best describes as early 1900s church clothing, like dresses to the knee with like cotton sauce or cropped sweaters and flats. Weird, right? What the fuck are two 10 year olds doing at the middle of the night at 12.30 am in the middle of nowhere, wearing church clothing? Also, they noticed that the bigger child had her arms wrapped around the smaller one, like what you would do if one was hurt, scared or cold. At this point, my uncle's girlfriend is like, it's children, we need to help. Now, at this point, the truck was almost right next to the little girls. Both had their heads held down. So then the bigger of the two starts to pick up her head and look at the passing vehicle. Then both my uncle and his girlfriend noticed the girl had no eyes, just black holes, as if they were carved right from her face. The girlfriend says, what the fuck is that? You saw that, right? Oh my god, turn around and go back now. 
My uncle, scared shitless, takes it off flying to get home. They get home and get into an argument because she wants to drive back and see what that was. Grabs her own car keys and my uncle basically was like, you're not going back there. We are never going to that road again. He calls my parents in extreme panic, tells them everything they saw. And they start bugging because they know that he would never lie or be that freaked out if it wasn't warranted. So my mom tells me everything and mind you, my fam knows nothing about Black Eye Kids, never heard of it before. I sent my mom an article to forward to my uncle with some very basic info like young kids, no eyes, dreadful feeling, sometimes outdated clothing, hitchhiking or at your door, looking for help, etc. Now my whole family is bugging. Sorry for it being so long, I wanted to give all the info I had. Please let me know what you all think or let me know what you experienced something similar to this. So this person asked for help so I'm gonna link like their post down below if you want to help them or send something to them then you can do that. But with that being said, let's go to the next story I found on Reddit on black eyed children. So the next one is called black eyed child or dot dot dot. The following happened when I was about 13 years old, so a good chunk of time and it's always bothered me. At the time my family lived in a 200 year old house near the town cemetery. So strange things always seem to happen, but this incident really was out there. It was about 1am or so and I remember waking up feeling like something was off. Just off, I can't explain the feeling. But I woke up to my cat growling and then I heard it, a strange stepping, like fingernails stepping on glass. Now the windows in this house were huge, floor to the ceiling. I also lived on the second floor so no trees were near the house actually. I remember looking into my window and seeing a little boy about 10 years old. He was crouched down tapping on the glass with one hand and smiling, his skin was unnaturally pale, his hair and hands were pitch black and he had no eyes, just black voids from his brows to his cheeks. We stared at one another for what seems like a few minutes before my cat dove for the window. The boy just faced from outside my window to the driveway and ran off. The motion light came on as he ran by it, but then he literally vanished when he reached the shadows. I have no clue what the boy was, but I wasn't scared of him at the time. More like, oh, how he'd get up there. But thinking back on it, it gives me the creeps. What do you guys think of this story? If you want to see more or hear more, I will leave the link down below, so you can check it out for yourself. The next one is a really short story, but nonetheless it gave me the creeps, so I really wanted to share it with you guys. So let's go to that story. It's called Black Eyed Children. Okay, I'm really, really not saying any of this for attention. There were two children with black eyes at my door just now. I was afraid to open the door because it's 12.30 a.m. at night. I just looked at them through the peephole. They kept making this eerie clicking noise, the likes of which I only have heard from insects. It was like, <coughs> let us in. <coughs> I just stared. They somehow became aware that I was looking because they crowded the people and said we're not human. And that was all for today. I hope you liked the stories and also what I made. Till next time.